Okay, I am here on Hancock Avenue, and I am looking at the 13th Vermont Monument. Now, the 13th Vermont were members of the 1st Corps under General Reynolds, and the 3rd Brigade under General George Stanner, and then the 3rd Division. Now, this is one of the more interesting monuments here on the Gettysburg Battlefield, and it actually has uh, a secret that not many people know about. Um, the 13th Vermont was commanded at the Battle of Gettysburg by a man named Colonel Francis V. Randall. Um, again, they were a part of General George Stannard's brigade. And in the summer of 1863, um, it was very, very hot. And on the march, uh, the summer heat and the dust from the march had taken its toll on the soldiers of Stannard's brigade. Now, on the way to Gettysburg, Lieutenant Stephen Brown, who is depicted there at the top, um, had been arrested, again, from the summer heat and the dust on the march, uh, as it began to take its toll on these soldiers, um, Standard, San, uh, General Standard had, had, uh, had an order that was given for his men to continue marching, okay, um, however, Lieutenant Brown, seeing the effect that it had been taken on his men, disobeyed that order, and in fact, he replied, damn your orders, um, and he fell out of ranks to get water for his men. For doing that, he was arrested, and he was stripped of his sidearm, he was placed under arrest on the march, and he marched on. Now, his march... Uh, to Gettysburg obviously was not a good one because he was under arrest. Now on July 3rd of 1863, Stannard's brigade was on Cemetery Ridge as 12,000 Confederates attacked. He sent his Vermont brigade forward to the ridge to flank that attack. Standing nearby, General Abner Doubleday took off his hat and exclaimed, Glory to God, glory to God. See the Vermont boys. Now again, that was from uh, Major General Abner Doubleday, who had taken over uh, command after General Reynolds was killed on the first day. Now, at this point, um, even though he was still under arrest, Lieutenant Stephen Brown grabbed what he could uh, since his weapons had been stripped from him. He grabbed a small camp axe and he ran into the fury of the battle on July 3rd 1863 during Pickett's charge. Um, as he ran in the battle with the small camp axe uh, he was able to capture a Confederate officer and he took his sword away from him as he placed this Confederate officer uh, under arrest and sent him to the rear. Now, nearby, Corporal William Church of Company K had his leg nearly blown off. Brown was attempting to apply a tourniquet to Corporal William Church when a shell exploded near both of those men, uh, and he himself became uh, wounded. However, Lieutenant Brown refused to leave the field until the engagement was decided. Um, when the 13th Vermont uh, came back to dedicate this monument, um, they actually put Stephen Brown at the top. And as we look around to the northern side of the monument, you can also see, and what I said was a secret, is that they got the camp axe depicted as well on the monument. So the monument itself uh, tells the story um, though when you read the side, it says this statue represents Lieutenant Stephen Brown, Company K, who arrived on the field without a sword, but seizing a camp hatchet, carried it into battle until he captured a sword from a Confederate officer. Preserving and determined like him were all the men of this regiment of these Green Mountain Boys. And of course, the 13th uh, his nickname was the Green Mountain Boys. So the bronze uh, statue is a uh, tempered version of actually what happened. It just says he arrived uh, without his sidearms and he got a camp 
acts, when in actuality, he was placed under arrest by his own commanding officer for disobeying a direct order, um, and he disobeyed that direct order uh, because he thought he was doing what was right uh, by getting his men uh, water in a time of need under the July heat and dust. So this monument here um, is one of the more interesting human interest stories of Gettysburg. It has the little secret with the camp axe and a wonderful story about a man so determined that he would uh, do for his men what was right in his eyes, and maybe even if that was to disobey a direct order. And then even after being embarrassed, even after being placed under arrest in front of his men, would continue on the march here to Gettysburg, uh, fight with a small camp axe until he was able to capture another enemy officer and take his sword and sidearm. Uh, also, when you look at the statue of him, he, he is carrying a Confederate-style sword, so the monument correctly depicts the captured sword. This has been the 13th Vermont Infantry and their monument here on Hancock Avenue, not too far, as you can see in the distance, from the Pennsylvania Monument and right next to the 1st Vermont Brigade Monument. Uh, this has been the 13th Vermont Infantry and the story of Lieutenant Stephen F. Brown here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.